Girls, man, girls didn't want to hear about jazz. You wanted to lose women, talk about jazz. You talk about some jazz, you lose every woman you ever knew. It's impossible to dislike pop music. You know, that's like asking me, do I like a candy bar? What I'm telling you is that a lot of the music that I know seems to be a dialogue with adolescents, adolescent passions, and I'm not an adolescent. Let me take something like Stardust, right? Now, Stardust will go. Hundreds more notes. There's a backlash against me, but I'm dealing with music. That's what, that's what I want you to understand. All I want to speak on behalf of is the music and let the younger musicians know that there are other forms of music that are documented on record for them to study. And the fact that their idols have decided that they would rather be pop stars, that doesn't mean that they have to make that decision. Yeah. You gotta learn the music, man. There ain't no way around it, man, man. It's not a mystery that the greatest musicians who express the deepest amount of profundity and emotion also knew the most about music. Because if you love something that much, why wouldn't you know something about it? Jazz is the soul of black America. I want to play jazz because it is it's the most challenging music to play as a musician. Mm -hmm. Jazz combines the composer and the performer. That's our art form. Afro-Americans have contributed to America in all the other arenas, but the, the thing about that is those, those contributions could be erased. And you don't have to know who W.B. Du Bois was, you don't have to know who Martin Luther King was, you don't have to know who Charles Drew was. You know, the guy came up with blood transfusion and died because he couldn't get one, because he wasn't white. And it's his invention. You don't have to deal with jazz because you won't get taught that in music schools. I'm a young man. You know, I see these things. It's my responsibility as a responsible American to respond to these things. If you're a musician, you want people to like you and know you. To deal with seriousness means that you have to deal with being disliked and not known. Like, I can't tell my brother, well, man, you should want to be not liked. Linton was, by the time he was 11, or 12 is when he had, had his identity like forged and solid. He knew where he was going and what he wanted even then. I sit in front of you and I know what to say to make everybody like me. That's easy to do. You know, you say, well, everything is good if you like it and I'm not against anything. And I mean, if you're not against anything, you're not for anything. Pay homage and respect to it and develop as much as I can to add to whatever body of material is there if I can add to it. The legacy is much more important than the individuals. Because that's what endures. It's not going to be affected by me one way or the other. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, jazz was great long before 1961. And it'll be great after I'm gone. I mean, that's the truth.